you but so nice meeting up first time face to face absolutely uh, pardon this sweat it's no no the goa Don't getting worry. on to the me. camera won't see the sweat <laughs> so tell us about your encounter with music and uh, background in pr yes so music has always been in our blood like gons uh, uh, i shifted to bombay a long time back 20 years now uh, i uh, run a pr company there uh, called msl uh, but music focus on music no not really General. Uh, across yeah. music has always been in our blood and goa more importantly and uh, that's that's the reason we thought about sounds from goa wow. and uh, so what's uh, the plan for sounds for goa the whole lot of stuff that uh, we intend to do uh, right from documentaries and uh, you know books that can chronicle the journey and things wow. like that but those are of course next phases what we did is we started with nostalgia yeah. sessions which is uh, a lot of nostalgic content that we had put out uh, through our youtube channel um the heritage home concert fascinating music very good music folk and traditional and that's what we want to kind of keep alive the rest i think everyone and anyone has been doing things any which ways the second of what we intended to do is the heritage home concerts and that's what's happening today and um, and yeah coming next from here will be some live streams that we'll be doing wow uh, and then of course on ground events and lots uh, lots remains to be done in terms of promoting goan music i would like to believe that i, I there's a lot of goan music that people are kind of putting out there and playing and everything else but i don't think people are telling stories out of it i don't think people are packaging it uh, in a way that it gives more meaning and more purpose in the way it was probably intended to be you know just kind of playing it for shows and weddings is one but you know getting people to come and be intimate with that music getting people to kind of come and engage with that and experience it and touch and feel music right is what you know experiences like this would probably further you have and a music background also or i drum but uh, okay. yeah i mean left professional drumming long back but works taken all my time but getting there slowly I and see. surely but with efforts like this uh, yeah hopefully you'll get more closer to music any yeah. suggestions to musicians to on tips to promote themselves i mean this is a tough question no it's business. not i mean that's my business that's what i do for a living but uh, yeah i all all that musicians need to do is right uh, learn fundamentals it's not too difficult it's not rocket science you know something as small as you know maintaining a database of people you engage with you meet uh, whenever you have shows whenever you have new music kind of just promoting it that way pushing kind of content with you know certain sets of people that you curate that you kind of cultivate is step number 1 and uh, all musician thinks that someone else will come and do it for them and that's not going to happen you got to do it yourself till you come out to a certain level and then management companies take you over and things like that but just follow the basics um, and uh, your music can go a long way thank you so much for all those tips. Patrick uh, keep up the good work you do anyway. no no i mean that's just a bit